On the morning of July 1st, 1916, 100,000 men left their trenches and advanced at a steady pace. In the slaughter that followed on the Somme that day, 20,000 men died, 5,000 of them from Ulster. For four months, the battle raged. By its end, the Allied forces had suffered 600,000 casualties, the Germans almost the same amount. Today in Belfast, that slaughter was commemorated at the launch of a special photographic exhibition attended by several veterans of the battle and the representatives of the people of Peaceville in France where some of the worst fighting took place. The exhibition, organized by the cross-community Farset Development Group, features a huge range of photographs from military and private sources. Among them, prints made available by the East German government and never seen before in the West. They cover every aspect of life in the trenches. What we want to do is inform the public of the memory of the men who never came back from France, who, who lie there buried because, because they gave their life for, for king and country. Uh, both sides of the community throughout Ireland were participated in the Battle of the Somme. Uh, the Unionist community through the, the Ulster Division and the Nationalist community through the 16th Irish Division. Also on display is a computer with the names and personal details of every Ulsterman killed in the battle. For veterans of the Somme, the photographs evoke many painful memories. Stretcher bearer Jack Christie recalls the death of his friend Billy McCormick. I've had a full life with Billy. His life finished in the mud in Flanders. And the reason I tell you this, that little story, is because it could be repeated thousands and thousands of times. Men killed who were only boys. I had a full life, but Billy's life finished in Passchendaele. What sort of people are with it after that sort of experience? How many years later was it before the war come on again? And we all swore never again, never again. We forgot. So uh, there's little point in asking or trying to answer whether it was worth it or not. It, uh, when will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? The song answers it.